Welcome to our listeners for this podcast, which is really a joint venture between ourselves, Cryptseers and Partners, uh, an executive search company specialised in the energy resources and infrastructure sectors, and powerful women. I'm uh, pleased to be joined today by Sandy Verma. Sandy has had a high-profile career in government uh, and is one of the founders of the Powerful Women Initiative. Welcome, Sandy. Thank you, Murray. Yes, I founded Powerful Women um, when I was a member of the government and a minister in the Department for Energy and Climate Change. Why don't you start by just expanding a little bit about the, the Powerful Women Initiative? Well, it started with uh, myself and um, Laura Sands, who was a member of parliament at the time. We looked at the energy sector and looked at representation of women in senior and middle management roles and found absolutely that there was such a under-representation in those roles and we needed to do something about it. Now, we founded it on the basis that we didn't want to just poke at the energy com- uh, at the energy sector and say this is really bad what we wanted to do was to actually support them in trying to work out what uh, support they needed in getting more women to first of all come into the sector but then when they got there to be able to progress into a very lucrative career the davis review and more recently the hampton review have focused as has a lot of the press on very senior women uh, on executive committees who have current board seats. But Powerful Women is much more than that, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we really wanted to have a look at where the real glitches happened in the careers of women in the energy sector. And we got PwC to do a a fantastic report for us, which gave us a lot of information, a lot of data to work with. And, you know, what we found was that the leakage really to the pipeline was in middle management. And so we focus our work around how do we ensure that uh, middle management is better supported from the leadership at the top. But then as women progress through um, the sector, how they then are managed and um, supported into senior exec and non-exec roles so that they are constantly being able to look for support from leadership. And that was why um, Powerful Women wanted to produce toolkits rather than just say to the energy sector, you've got an issue and not provide them with some support. And therefore, looking at the question on diversity broadly, it seems there has been a little bit of a legacy of promoting a, the initiative, um, but everybody is always looking to somebody else to create the solution, when the reality is the, it is all of our responsibility uh, yeah, in, in order to do that. Absolutely. And that's why when we when we founded Powerful Women, and let me say, I have got a brilliant board and a brilliant chairman in Ruth Kearney, drawn from the sector of, of men and women, and fam- fabulous ambassadors. And all of us are there to actually support and help the sector to try and get more women into man- middle management and senior roles, simply by providing support in toolkits or or putting forward, shining a torch on some brilliant people that are already in the sector and they act as role models for people coming in. Unless people see that people can make it, that people have got the support, you know, it, we'll still have this deficit and we don't want to be having this discussion in another decade's time that, you know, we haven't got enough women, particularly in the energy sector, which really does impact on every single one of us. So every single one of us have got to make an effort to change the status quo on what's going on within the sector as in other places. So let's all of us be slightly more disruptive in our approach to to how we see our roles in trying to get more women in. Sandy, thank you very much for joining us today. Fascinating to to listen to you and um, thank you for taking time out of your, your busy schedule.